Hey, Crescent. I got a question for you. What the hell is this? And why does it exist? For anyone who may be confused right now, this is a tool that I found at Home Depot a while back walking through the aisles that uh, caught my interest and makes me angry every time I see it. Because it is essentially a chisel that they put a half round rasp on the back of. And they put a basically a bastard file. They're calling it a flat wood rasp, but it's a bastard file. They don't show any pictures of it on here for some reason. I I, I looked, but uh, the one I flipped over in Home Depot a couple years ago, it had a bastard file on the back of it. And, and they took a hacksaw blade edge and, and put on one side for some reason. Now you may be asking yourself, why does this piss me off? Well, they took four tools that are purpose built for four different things smashed them together in some weird amalgamation of full shittery to make them all not useful because combination tool multi tool everything's gonna be a multi tool I don't understand. All right, Crescent, let me break this down for you. This is a chisel. Right here. A decently sharp, not the sharpest at the moment, it's new, but this is a chisel. It's made to remove materials and cut shapes into wood and to get really fine, nice, smooth cuts. It does that job really freaking good. Now, yeah, there's a handle right here, but a lot of the times when you're using a chisel, if you're trying to do a little bit of finer work with it, you, it's very common to choke up on it and then, yeah, do a motion like that. Now, I'm not a woodworking expert or anything, but I, I've used a chisel like that more than once and it works out great. I like doing it. The problem is, if you, if you take, you know, a hacksaw blade and you put on the... Oh, man, I'm going to have to sharpen that again. But if you... you, you Put it on the side to where you're trying to hold it. The chances of you cutting yourself with the hacksaw blade uh, increase from almost zero to more than almost zero. Just why? Who, who's ever been using a chisel and said, like, I need to be able to hacksaw and cut through things with the side of my chisel? Now, here's the problem with, you know, you know a hack, hacksaw, hacksaw blade. It's made to quickly cut, you know, hack things off with, like, you know, pipes, foot, if you're in saw, you know, things like that. But uh, there's, there's a reason it's thin. So you can actually make it through materials without, like, cutting a crap ton of it off. If you take this thin hacksaw blade and you put it on the edge of this thick chisel, you're now no longer cutting through material with it. You're scraping it. And putting grooves in it but you're not cutting it now on, on your website on the home depot website you talk about how it's used to clean out the inside of a hole but you also included a bastard file on the back of your chisel that would do that better because that's kind of what well half round i said bastard i meant half round but you put a half round chisel uh, file on the back of the chisel so you can remove material from holes, as you put it. And that would work so much better than a hacksaw blade in doing that and you're cleaning up the edges of something. So why? But anyways, on to the best, or the, the half round file por portion. Um, half round file. Uh, this right here is rasp. I don't know why I keep calling things weird names. This is a rasp. They call it a half round rasp. I just call it a rasp. It's a flat rasp. It's made to remove a lot of material from wood. It's not made for metal. It's made for wood and wood only. Uh, the flat one here is a bastard file. And it's made to work on metal. But you can use it to like knock off corners on wood. I don't know why you wouldn't use the rasp portion. But whatever. Uh, yeah. Here, here's the thing. When you use it, you're often just like... 
scrubbing away material. You're trying to move material quickly and fast. And, you know, I've accidentally stabbed myself more than once with the rounded dull tip of this, and it's not an issue. But if you suddenly put a sharp chisel blade on the end of that, it might cause problems. Like, you're not... What? Why? Why not just have a rasp nearby? If you think, you know, you're trying to work so fast that you need to just be able to flip your chisel over and not have a rasp, like, right next to you to do that same work. I'm ranting. This is so stupid to me. I don't understand it. Like, who's buying these? Why are they buying these? What are you using the damn things for? Like, why not just buy a chisel and a rasp? You're better off doing that. And then sharpening your chisel rasp combo thing is going to be a pain in the ass. Holy shit, you can't even sharpen the edge flat. You freaking... Okay, so when you're sharpening a chisel, you got to sharpen this flat edge too, along with, you know, your, your beveled edge there and get the angles right. But if you have a rounded over half round rasp on the back of it, it's not really going to fit in your conventional sharpening jigs pretty easily. And if you have rasp points on the back, you're not going to be able to sharpen the back of your chisel efficiently. You might be able to sharpen just this little edge wherever the rasp parts are, and that's going to be a pain because you got the angle so far out there, like, if one little motion, like, you're not going to have a sharp chisel, not sharp enough to do actual woodworking with. That makes no goddamn sense! Why are you doing this? I swear to God, the Crescent Wrench R&D team needs to have their cocaine checked because somebody laced it with LSD at some point. The engineers there never held a hand tool before in their life and never used any of these things. I don't know why companies keep trying to take multiple tools that are like are in the same general category of work. Like these are all well, not that the hex saw's not. I don't understand that, but the, these two are, you know, woodworking tools, and I guess they are indeed like they're woodworking. Let's put them all together and make a multi-tool for the reason of multi-tool. Multi-tool. Great! Uh, not always. Not always. These do their job really well by themselves. Put them together, they don't do their job at all. I don't... And, 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 and one, one final point, if you put a rasp on the back of your chisel there, you know, I don't want to touch my chisel with the rasp because it will dull the blade. That's more sharpening later. But if, if you do that when you're trying to, like, cut a mortise and tin, and instead of, you know, being able to butt up against the edge of the wood to get a precision cut, you know, like, this is a precision tool, can be used as a precision tool, you, you, you can't do that because now the rasp is just widening your mortise in a weird way with a bad cut. That's just dumb. It's so dumb. Oh my god, it makes me so angry. It makes me so angry. I see it in Home Depot all the time and they have like 90 sales on, or 90 reviews on the website. Like, seriously, who's buying these? Why are you buying them? What are you using them for? How are you using them? I don't know. Teach me. I'm an idiot. Like, shit. Maybe I'm just my, my concerns are not valid. I don't know. Anyways, that's been a rant because I can't and can't nobody stop me, especially you, Crescent. I'm waiting on your agents come and take me out. It ain't gonna happen. But anyways, yeah, that's all I got for today. If you had a good time, I know I did. Go ahead and, you know, hit all the buttons down below. Like, comment, subscribe, that kind of thing. If not, I'm going to just start doing 24-hour non-stop live promotional videos of Raid Shadow Legends uh, without their consent for free. So if you don't want that to happen, hit the buttons. Goodbye.